It's the noontime hour. Swan Nation. How to do, how to do, how to do. What? Who messaged me? Oh, thank you, Dakota. Hi, everybody. Good morrow. It's a beautiful day out here in Arizona. Very beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day for you guys. Jeffrey Walls! What's up, man? How you doing? How's the family? Wife? Everyone doing good? I hope so. Welcome, 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 everybody. Let's let everyone populate in the room while I dance with my sombrero. Oops. Make sure it doesn't fly off. I think I don't have anything behind me. <laughs> Cold here? Uh, wow. Then I'm, uh, you're going to be jealous. Got you on the big screen? No way! Do I look even goofier? <laughs> um, freaking cold. Jeffrey, um, okay, wow, I look silly. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to see what that looks like on a big screen. Uh, Jeffrey, stay warm, please. Um, what's the temp there, man? I mean, it doesn't sound pleasant. It sounds um, chilling. It's like the older I get, the colder it gets. Oh, man, my bones feel it. Hate it. Have to soak in a nice hot bath, but that is a nice trade-off. Yep. Beer, hot bath, Epsom salt. Yeah. Good for what ails you since you were 45 on up. Yep. So, hey, everybody. Eric. Hi, Eric. Jay. Jay, I saw your post. Are you okay? Is everything all right? I saw that, and I replied, what the, you know. Um, so are you okay? Are you safe? Um, please don't die, okay? I mean, what the heck happened? Um, let me know. Oh, well, I might have one. I may bring back Jeffrey on, a, on another show. So uh, real quick, guys, I just want to say welcome to the catacombs here. Coffin Comics headquarters. We are in HQ. Yes, I am in the shop. Um, so thank you everyone for joining. I hope you're having a wonderful week. It's a Wednesday. It's hump day. We're almost done with the week. Closer to the weekend than we were yesterday. So thank you for joining me. Okay, guys. <clears throat> real quick, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I got for you. And then also um, read off some of the news from our VIP newsletter. So, let's get things started. I also want to say, guys, if you haven't noticed, um, we have the Coffin Comics enamel pins available on the store. Um, I absolutely love these, and they look great on my suit. Just think of how they look on a leather jacket, jean jacket, hey, even a lanyard. If you got a lanyard at work, put one of these bad boys on. Yeah, you'll get the attention. Heck yeah. Represent. Okay, here we go. Let's start things off with the catacombs. I like that my hat does this. Okay, great. Get it a little tighter for you. <laughs> First things I got. Classics. Avatar era. Lady Death. Death Goddess. <laughs> Death Goddess. Right here. Get a hair. I think it's like really good price on this stuff. I've got some high-end stuff. I got some low-end stuff. I got something for all you people. Why? Because we love you. Especially me. Thank you, guys. Next up, classic. This is Lady Death Fetishes 2006. These are the last copies. These were at the bottom of a box. Um, so I'm presenting them here. These are all as is. These are older books. Like I say, they've been sitting probably for 14 years in a box. So I have the last copies of this. The last copies. I said it. Hopefully, uh, I'll find some more in my adventures in the catacombs looking for these hidden treasures for you guys. Really beautiful cover by Juan Jose Rip. I love this one a lot. This is Lady Death, Infernal Sins. This is the premium cover. I have a couple of these. Ooh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Goodness gracious. Really nice. Ooh. Next up, oh, all you Richard Ortiz fan, are you guys ready for this? This is the Infernal Sins wrap cover. 
Got to open it up. Uh, Richard Ortiz did this. This is probably, I'm going to guess, 0506. Uh, April 2006. This is a wrap cover. Boom. Lady Death fighting the Dragon Worm. That thing is so cool. So this is the Infernal Sins wrap cover. Richard Ortiz. It's one thing I, I really like uh, when I get to do the deep dives in some of the uh, older publishing history of our characters is, is finding um, our, our cover art still working with us, still out there with us. It's great. Let's see. Slabby. Yeah, I'll see if I still have some. That was actually something I was thinking about putting on a catacomb show, so I'll see what I got. Next up, I have the Lady Death, Leather and Lace. <laughs> 2005, 15 years ago, Leather and Lace. Well, if it was in Arizona, it'd be a lot of chafing because it gets warm out here. But this is the premium cover, $9.99, Juan Jose Rip. A lot of this uh, older editions, I don't have a ton of copies. These were the last beautiful piece. Wow, I really like the placement of the lighting. It really shows the books nice. Nice. All right. So I guess that phone call made my phone glitch a little bit. I just saw a little jump in time, so I apologize for that, folks. <clears throat> they got out of the silent mode, or else you'd be hearing that ring going over and over and over. And I'd be tumbling over trying to get it to turn off. Yeah. It'd be a whole heck of a fun show, though, because I'm a klutz. Uh, <laughs> we have Lady Death, Issue Zero. This is Lost Souls commemorative cover. About two or three copies of these left, and that is it. This old stuff is going bye-bye. I am almost out of them all. Almost. And I love getting this. It's especially fun when I see uh, all you guys' videos and photographs of your unboxing and seeing this stuff. And I'm glad you guys like the little um, figurines um, Brandy and I have been putting on, um, on your order sheets or on your boxes. Um, there's certain games I'll recognize like, oh, let's do a little doodle here. Hey, let's just write a little thank you or a smiley face. So I really like seeing that. I'm glad you guys appreciate it. Definitely when we definitely have time, um, packing, you know, just to show you guys, we care. We're thinking about you and we see your orders and we're very appreciative. So I hope you like our little doodles. <laughs> Next up, this is Lost Souls issue zero. Ready to rumble. Again, only a few copies left of this. It's interesting, I did not know that um, War Angel was in the parts of these series, so this is really cool. Great history lesson for me. This is the Lady Death, Lost Souls. This is the Battle Ready cover. Again, only a few copies of these available. Once they're gone, that's it. I am sold out. Eric, it is a happy Wednesday. Why? Because I get to share... 30 minutes of my day with all you guys on Sworn Nation. I love it. It's a nice way to break up my days, uh, you know, listing stuff, pulling product. It's always nice to have my 30 minutes on Monday and Wednesday and I get to hang out with you guys. So I love it. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday too. Um, this is Lady Death, Lost Souls, Call to Arms. Another beautiful cover. Get him while I got him. Richard Ortiz cover, guys. Early Richard Ortiz, 2005-2006. This cover, Richard Ortiz, who's still with us today. And it's great, especially if you collect certain artists. Um, I used to collect um, a comic book artist uh, stuff, and I loved how, in my collection, I found some of his earliest works and collected his stuff over the years. And just, just to see how the artists grow uh, in their crafts is just something fun to behold, especially when you have the collection. You're like, wow, this was 15 years ago. Here he is. Just You just get to see them totally flesh out their style and, and become the artist that you know today. It's always a pleasure to find this stuff. Another Daniel HR cover. This is Lady Death, Lost Souls. This is The Charge. Actually, no, this is not Lost Souls. What is, issue is this? Take a gander here, folks. Is this Lost Souls? Good, it is Lost Souls. Yay! Normally it has the Lost Souls on there. This one didn't. Okay. This is the charge cover. Like I say, a lot of this stuff... Dude! 
Uh, Greg, I got your message for your order on eBay. Um, I will uh, definitely write that note and see about uh, BP getting that signed the way you like. Deal? Good. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Bob's in the house, everybody. Bob. Hi, Bob. I'm going to knock myself out with this thing. Kenneth Barnes. What's up, Kenneth? How are you? How are you? Karen Walsh. Is Hi, Karen. Hi. How are you? Hope you are doing well. God, I love seeing you guys. It's like I'm opening up a comic book shop and I get to spin it with all you lovely people. <clears throat> what a day. We have here Lady Death Lost Souls. This is the commemorative cover. Limited to a thousand. Like you say, folks, a lot of this stuff I'm showing today, these are the last of the last. Uh, some of them I have one copy, some I have two. If I'm lucky, I'll have five. But lately, this stock is shrinking fast, and you guys are just eating it up. So I'm, I'm really appreciative. Um, seeing all the orders with the old stuff, I wasn't sure how it would do. Um, but thank you, guys. I, I, I'm very happy I can present stuff to you you enjoy. Let's see. Bob, how are you feeling? Kenneth, how are you doing today? How's everyone's week been treating them? All right, here we go, folks. I got some fun stuff. Publisher Files coming up next. I have two copies of this. This is a beaut. Richard Ortiz. This is Lady Death Visions. This is the Blood Moon Slabbed Edition. I have two copies available. <laughs> that looks supposed to look really disturbing. I'm sorry. It does include the beautiful COA and the lovely Publisher File sticker. So, two of those. Very happy to be able to present two copies for you guys. Hope you like them. Next up, uh, something we were discussing. <laughs> Words so hard when your lips don't want to work properly. A little alien. Hi. Okay. Next up, we have Lady Death Moments number one, Ace of Spades, Pix Lab Edition. Beautiful piece. This is another publisher file. I love publisher files. These things are great. And, oh my gosh, guys, I've, I've been lucky enough to see some of the uh, editions that will be popping into the upcoming... Lady Death Kickstarter, some of the mystery edition covers. You guys are going to freak. They're beautiful, beautiful books. Can't wait to start showing them to you guys. I'll let Brian do that first. Yeah. Okay, another publisher file. I figured, why not do a, a theme with some slabbed publisher file editions that aren't really slabbed? These are like homages to slab books. This is Lady Death Killers. This is the Dooney edition. <laughs> oh boy. I, you, you can tell how slow I am with age because I just finally get the Dooney edition. Oh boy. I almost dropped that. It's Wednesday. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Am I blushing like I was on Monday? And I'll, you'll guys see why I was blushing big time on Monday. And last but definitely not least, Lady Death, Blasphemy Anthem, Scarlet Metal AP number four is in the house. These items will be up for five days and then they go bye-bye. So this is an AP number four. There is your artist COA on the back. Yeah, Jay, dude, save up. Swornfest is going to be a hoot. So those are the lovely things I have. You can find them by clicking on the link I put up there for the catacombs. Oh, you guys know that. Share the link. Spread the words. Also, everybody, Monday is our YouTube show. We do it for 30 minutes. That's where the Coffin Comic Shopping Network has moved to. We do some presentation of uh, catacombs there as well. And also try to show you some of the new stuff. So, please... Subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed to YouTube, spread the word. Have other people sign up. Click on that bell so you get notifications when we go live. Okay, so two weeks. I can't believe we're already we're, we're, we're coming up to it. Lady Death, Cladic, Cataclysmic Majesty. I've been doing so well with that title read too. And then, of course, fumble. Uh, Wednesday, February 17th at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
we will be starting and launching the next chapter of Lady Death's Adventure in the Coffin Verse. So don't delay. Be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. All of you who have joined us for all those Kickstarter launches, you know how much fun they are. Well, pass the word. Have everyone join the fun with us. While we're on to the news department, here is some of the items that will be available on that Kickstarter. I'm going to save the one that embarrassed me um, last, um, just so you guys can see. Whew, it is a, a stunning and a scorching hot cover. Here is the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Lady Death, Cataclysm Majesty. This is the Palo Pantolina cover. Coming your way, guys. Check it out. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, this is a stunning, stunning piece by Don McTague. Look at this. This is another cover that will be available for our Kickstarter. Beautiful pieces, guys. Um, and the mystery envelope ones are, whoo, amazing. Now this cover, this is the, 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 the cosplay cover. Uh, for the Kickstarter on February 17th. I hadn't seen this image before, uh, so as I was flipping through and I presented it, I, 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 I blushed. So, hey, what's up, Miguel? How are you? Thank you for joining us. So, <clears throat> here we go. This is the Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Cosplay Edition. This made my mouth hit the floor. Uh, because I hadn't seen it before, and the first time I saw it was Monday, um, and I was speechless. Um, it's beautiful. It's stunning. Um, oh my god. Beautiful and stunning, that's all I can say. Um, and I'm speechless. Um, I, I'm probably blushing right now, so I'm gonna duck down, take a drink of water. So yeah, these, that's just a tiny sampling of the additions we'll be offering on Kickstarter, that cosplay one. Whoo, that's a scorcher, boys and girls. It's hot, hot as can be. And it's sweaty in this room, too. <sighs> nice drink of water, nice drink of water. Uh, <laughs> yes, Bob, that is a correct statement. <laughs> Miguel, yes, hubba hubba, that is correct. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh boy. Also, while we're on the subject of Kickstarters, Hellwitch stuff is all coming in. Everything's coming together. Um, here's our young helper helping out QCing the soft cover editions. So. QCing is being done, bag and boarding, everything's coming together. I finished all the metal covers. Metal jeweled covers are done. I finished the lenticular covers. I finished, well, I'll let Brian reveal that stuff. Secret. Here is uh, some of the hardcover editions that we got all in and checked and ready to go. So, we'll start shipping this stuff soon to you all, huh? <laughs> Gibberish. That's all that can come out of my mouth today. Here we go. These are really beautiful cover, guys. I, I cannot wait to see uh, when it all gets into your guys' hands and seeing all the photos uh, of all the shipments and all the fun things you guys have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Losing my voice. All right, here we go. February 9th. It will be Worldwide Lady Death Day. So... We'll be celebrating the publication of Lady Death's very first issue back in February of 94. That book was beautiful. That book did really well. I remember always constantly selling out of that book. Um, wonderful fond memories. And that was also the, not long after that book was released, I ended up meeting Brian and Fran and everyone else from the Chaos Era. Wonderful people. Glad I got to know them. And I always told myself if I had a chance to work for them, I would do it. So here we are, 27 years later, and I'm not working for him. So dreams do come true. Just got to work at him and wait for that right opportunity to quick strike, as Brian would say. <laughs> All right. Your challenge this year, should you choose to accept it, is to share your love for Lady Death with people totally new to Lady Death, but you suspect they may enjoy her. So 
Step one, send new people to Coffin Comic or www.coffincomics.com to download the free digital sample. Number two, invite new people to join the party at Sworn Nation. Number three, post Lady Death Comics merch and apparel on February 9th, Lady Death Days, to your social media hashtagging hashtag Lady Death Day and share with your friends. Let's have the internet blow up with Lady Death on her special day, February 9th. The, this is a contest. Best photos will win. Our criteria is simple. Make your pics fun. Make them exciting, over the top, and legal. <laughs> Some of you people will do that. <laughs> yes, please make it legal. We don't want anyone to get hurt or in trouble. Um, we will pick winners the following week and will contact you via social. Also, please post your favorite Lady Death covers or pages and give a shout out to the artist during Lady Death Day. Know this information, guys, is in the VIP newsletter. I know I harp on it. There's a link. Sign up for it. We have great stuff. It lets you know about all this great stuff. Look, download and print the Lady Death cutout uh, that you can use to take photos with. This is this year's design. Now, I saw some really creative stuff last year and the year before. I'm expecting to see even better ones than I did last year. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, my first year here, I partook. I went to the, um, there is a big event they have at the um, fairgrounds here that raises money for nurses and they sell used books and other used media. So I took Lady Death there at 4.30 with the family and pictures of her while I was shopping with different books around us. So uh, it's a lot of fun. People have even done life-size ones. So it's, it's amazing and it's very interactive and I highly recommend you guys do it. Let's make Lady Death Day, February 9th, the best one yet. And let's just grow from there. What do you say? Let's do this. All right. Justice for Jeff. Justice for Jeff. Yes, justice for Jeff. Hopefully we'll see Jeff soon. All right. We've also went ahead and we are doing a beautiful feature for a lovely artist that has worked on many books with us. The artist of La Muerta, Joel Gomez. So here's some items we have up in the store of Mr. Gomez that are available now. We have the La Muerta Retaliation Deadly Duo two book set. Very nice set. With us on more. We have even more cool stuff for you guys. We have the La Muerta Vengeance. This is the premium foil. And this is an addition that we offer to the comic book shops. So check that one out. That is available now. Another one. This is a great, great cover. This is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the action edition. Also available in comic shops. Just click on the links. It'll take you to the catacombs. But go ahead and look around. You can find more of this stuff too. La Muerta. Hellwitch. Zach and of course Lady Death and we do have some classic stuff as well if you're looking for some old Lady Death trades from the chaos era you will find them there uh, I think we have some odysseys and we're almost out of the reckoning so if anyone needs a reckoning trade and you see it on the store get it now because uh, once that stock is done we're done it's over next up we have the Lady Death black and white premiere edition this is or yeah premiere edition can't even read today in reverse okay this is available today on the store and we also got some stuff this is from the um coffin fest way god i can't believe it's already two years now uh so this is the gomez metallic card and then we also have the gomez Cover edition two for La Muerta Descent. Ooh, pardon me. Didn't mean to uh, hopefully burp on camera. So I got five minutes. Gomez does roll. Let me just go through. How much for the empty display case behind? You mean that? No, that ain't for sale. No, 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 no. This is for, uh, you know, this used to be where I'm shooting now. This was actually the uh, boutique. Uh, where when we'd have Kickstarter events or for those who are at the uh, theme festival, um, this is where we had it set up so you could shop. Well, 
with things being that they are, we went ahead and uh, are right now just using it to do my little video shoots here and also to uh, prep stuff to get signed by Brian and also to um, store uh, stuff to get shipped out for Kickstarters and what have you. So when we need the space right now, we're using it here. So that's why we don't have the boutique open, but just wait next year. This thing is going to be full of some real beautiful books. The display case, I believe you're you're talking about we see yes that one um, <laughs> yeah no that's a beaut uh, it's an Ikea one so you can get it at Ikea so I recommend it it's a nice metal case with nice beautiful glass showings your collectibles will look great in there I highly recommend picking one up nice congratulations Jay Yes, justice for Jeff. Everyone needs justice. Everyone wants justice for Jeff. Yeah, that 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 cosplay cover, Jeff. Yeah, I I was blown away. Um, I, I I think I was actually blushed. So it's it's a beautiful book. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully having some left. But I have a feeling that thing is going to be so hot it's just going to sell out. So also in this article we did an interview with Brian, and I'll read you off some of the stuff he said. He's talking about Insurrectus is going to be a big issue. Yeah. Get ready, guys. You guys have been seeing the buildup in the book. Now it's spreading out to the other books, so get ready. It's just going to get massive. This is our death Deathocalypse year. Yes, death Deathocalypse. This is it. Our first company-wide event all year long. So I'm really excited that we're doing this. I don't know if Brian is. So here we go. We asked... First, you introduce Johnny Devlin in Malevolent Decimation, and now Mad Mike Morgan in the upcoming Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty. What can you tell us about these new male horror characters uh, you keep coming up with? And Brian replied, Mad Mike is an undead gravedigger hiding out in a cemetery in Chicago along with his rat pal, Ratso. I love this character already. He is also a major ultraviolet ass kicker, courtesy of his supernatural kill fist, nicknamed Frickin' Frack. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, they are on the run from a shadowy organization nicknamed the Frankenstein Factory. Did I mention that rat? So also speaks English. We got a talking rat. Yeah, love rats. Whereas Johnny Devlin, a.k.a. Devilock, has a somber, tragic vibe to him. Mad Mike Morg is an over-the-top, cocky metalhead. There is a fun, insane vibe to him and his horror adventure. It's fun for me to tickle that creative itch that I was so well known for with Evil Ernie, rest in peace, uh, with the new guy, Mad Mike. I plan to spin off both characters into their own series. Wow! Oh, sounds like there's a delivery outside. Um, wow! Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty. Mad Mike Morg and Ratso. Guys, if you are Evil or any fans or know people who are Evil or any fans, psh, this is the Kickstarter to say, hey, check this out. Check out the, the Devil Lock. Check out Mad Mike. These are characters that I know are going to be a lot of fun for you guys. And I'm looking forward to it. Let me just check the time so I can take care of that phone call I got. Oh, so I got a few seconds. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I take my hat off to you and give you a curry bow as I knock the table. Um, thank you, guys. I really do appreciate you joining me. Everyone have an amazing rest of your week. Everybody have a beautiful day. And for all you guys that are really cold climates, bundle up, stay warm, be safe. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'll see you guys Monday, YouTube for the CCSN. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I salute you all. Peace. Oh, I gotta walk around here. Ooh, ooh. See if we can do it, but not. Bye, guys. Bye.